Hey Nathan here, welcome back to another flocking artificial intelligence video. In this video we are going to discuss the algorithm for cohesion. Now I have coded most of the game implementation just so we can get straight to the algorithm. I created several entities that represent the same type of layout as we had in the concept video. But since those values were small, I had to multiply them by 10 and double them after that. Otherwise, it would be too close to each other and it just wasn't looking right. So, minor position differences and they initially set up with a zero velocity. So we can see exactly what the influence of the cohesion has on the entities. Okay, so this is just a very basic sample of what this algorithm will do. I have a much more complete sample that I will release, but I will also release this with the minor changes I have made. Alright, so I created four entities. The layout is similar to what we had in the concept video. I create the flock with the leader. Leader doesn't really matter at this point. We are not using the leader role for anything specific right now. So the leader is the first entity. And then every time we add a member to the flock, we need to set the values. The entity needs a reference to the flock and it needs to set these boolean values depending on if it's a leader or in flock. Then we will add the entities to the entity list that we have up here. Okay. We have three textures that we will be using, three of them, entity, entity leader, and area. We will not be displaying the area in these samples, but if you want to enable that, you go to the Entity class and uncomment this section here. The reason we are doing this, we are avoiding finding new, neighbor, new neighbors at runtime. We are generating this ahead of time. We are avoiding how we find neighbors at runtime. So if we look at the entity, that actually has an algorithm that will find new neighbors. We are avoiding those in this sample here. The complete sample will use that algorithm, but we are not worrying about that just now. Okay, the thing we're going to worry about is working with the cohesion algorithm. Now I've set this up to where it will wait five seconds before it will process cohesion and update the velocity. All right, so I created the method declaration for cohesion and let's go ahead and get started with the algorithm. So cohesion works by bringing entities close together by having each entity point to the center of mass. So we need to have a vector 2 for center of mass. Okay. We also need to have int neighbors. We need to have a count of the neighbors. We get an average of every other entities position then we divide it by the neighbors we get the average of that so we sum up the position vectors of every other entity in the flock and divide them by the neighbor count for each entity e in entity dot flock dot entities the flock has a list of entities in the in the flock. So we're just looping through every entity in the flock. 
We need to check to make sure the neighbor we are investigating is not our self. If E does not equal to entity. Center of mass plus equals E dot position. We are adding up every position, every other entity's position, and we also increase neighbors. So after that for each loop is done, we need to check if neighbors is greater than zero. Center of mass dot average. Pass up the count. Now, you might be wondering, how do you get that? In this sample, there is an extension method. There will be a C-sharp tutorial discussing extension methods in the future. But I extend the vector2 structure to have an average method in it. The structure is here. So I call vector2.average, and it will average out the vector that is calling it with the count. So all I'm doing is averaging the vector by the count of the number of entities in the flock. Okay, now we need to calculate the force vector is equal to center of mass. We need to point ourselves to the center of mass. In order to do that, we need to calculate a vector from the center of mass to ourselves. So we do that by calculating center of mass minus entity deposition. Force vector is equal to vector two dot normalize force vector. So that is the algorithm. We return the force vector. We are making sure it's normalized. We cannot normalize a zero vector, so that's why we add it in here. We press F5. Wait five seconds, and it should automatically adjust. Now, every entity is pointing to the center of mass of every other entity. The solid entity is the leader. No other flocking artificial intelligence concepts are going on here. It's just cohesion. So as you can see, if one of them rotates, the other one rotates because the position values are changing. The leader is getting closer to the flock, if you can see that. Now, when it wraps the screen, the position values will change and the flock needs to readjust. But it looks like all the entities are getting nice and close together. And that's what we all want to happen. So I'm going to close this and run it again. So each individual entity in this flock is calculating its own center of mass and pointing itself towards that. The combination of the, that effect will result in all the entities coming nice and close to each other. This is the cohesion algorithm. I will provide a pseudocode implementation, although you don't really need it in this case, but I will provide a pseudocode implementation in the download as well as this. 
I've made some modifications to make it nice and quick to use. Uh, if you want to wait until the final result, that will be in the tutorial where we combine all three flocks. Alright, so stay tuned. Next tutorial, we will discuss separation concepts. I hope to see you next time.